Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. In this group of the lecture, we are going to practice cross-sectional anatomy in echo. So I noticed some of you has problem for uh, determining those structure and having an imaginary, uh, good imaginary cross-section of the, your view and shot. Here we have plaques. Uh, I am going to uh, mark those structures. Let's go together and see how much your anatomy is good. Here they have structure I marked. I'm going to answer from here to this way, rotation clockwise. Let's go one by one together, ready? So the first one, this one is IVS, right? This one, this cusp, orthocusp is what? The anterior one is right coronary cusp, that's right. The posterior one on the image, we are not sure which one. I am going to shortly explain. It can be left coronary cusp or non-coronary cusp. Just be patient. Here we have left atrium. We have aortic descending, usually a wall shape, not circular completely. I am going to explain why. Then we have posterior mitral valve leaflet, short and posterior. You see how much? And then we have here this hyper echo line that separate from the posterior uh, wall of the LV. So is the corda tendini, one of the corda, you can see other corda tendini, that sharp line because it come to the field and disappear. If you a little fan it, maybe you can see the other corda tendini attached to the, and this one anterior mitral valve leaflet. Here we have a left ventricle, RVOT and LVOT. This is all structure. Now let's see what is a reality cross section in the heart. Here we have a chest with the rib probe location between uh, three to four intercostal, left parasternal, and orientation of the probe is to the shoulder and hip. Long footprint access is and perpendicular to the chest. Here we have the schematic of the probe, exactly uh, the, uh, how probe cut and hard. The green one is marker side and red is other side. So if you watched from the posterior of the heart, here the posterior view of the heart, you can see the sector of sound pass through what the structure, left atrium, this is left your mind later, I will mention something. Here we have the cross section, it means it looks like you are cutting the heart at this uh, plane angle, taking the left part of the heart throw away and you can see cross section surface, then rotate it and flip it forward, rotate it clockwise and flip it forward, it looks like we see whatever on the monitor you see. As you notice here, I mentioned that this cross section of the thoracic descending aorta is oval because it doesn't cut it transverse or oblique, so you usually see oval shape. And here, now let's answer to the question, this is posterior cusp, aortic cusp, which one is that, left coronary or non-coronary cusp? And here is a real uh, aortic valve from the uh, cephalic, you are watching from top to the bottom, is, we call it uh, surgical view or from cephalic view, you are uh, watching the heart valve from the top to the bottom. So. Uh, here we have exactly orientation anatomy. Our sector sound in the classic plaques pass through exactly middle of the, this is right coronary cusp, and this is commissure of the, these two cusp. So that is the reason many times you maybe you don't see this posterior uh, cusp line because 
that that moment specific moment it passed through this between these two a little weaker you see posterior and with a small movement fan to the left or right or even the patient breathing or even heart uh, cycle this line can be changed go pass through this part like this so in that case it will be left coronary cusp and if turned that way a little fan in this way it can be non coronary cause that is the reason we don't we are we cannot say sure which one is that unless you know the exactly angle and orientation of heart now here here we have a real cross section and cutaway of the heart in long axis as you notice here all the structure is the same but it looks like a little different from the echo image why if you notice and if you remember from the physics ultrasound create image from cross-section surface so this uh, real cross-section is a picture that include the z-axis or depth of the picture it took a picture even the image is 2d but reality it took those uh, Z axis to the two axis uh, picture, 2D picture. So, the, if you look at here, popularly muzzle, the cross section doesn't cut that one. That is the reason you don't see it. Or here, the surface of the lateral wall of aorta, here you can see a wall complete surface because this is at the Z axis on the ultrasound is only create from cross-section surface this line this line this surface and line this surface but not the deep or z axis you don't see something like that because all this surface is out of the cross-section surface this is cross-section surface so that is the reason differences now i have a question here we have image is almost uh, both ascending aorta and septum are uh, angle some curvy shape if you want to make this orientation of the septum more horizontal what maneuver you should do you got my point here is almost 30 degree with this if you want to make it uh, this septum transverse on the image monitor what maneuver you should do okay I think you have answered. Let's go first the maneuver. The, one of the most important maneuver is heel towing or rocking. Uh, here we have footprint of the probe vector. Here is long axis and here is short axis the footprint and marker. Imagine here we have a probe. This is marker. So this type of side of the marker we call toe and the other side we call heel. So exactly like the maneuver on the foot, when we go uh, over the uh, toe, we call it towing. If we go over the heel, we call it healing. The same maneuver. Towing means you are tilting the handle of the probe toward the marker. So the direction of the sector change. And with healing, opposite way, the direction of the sector change. So with this maneuver, you can make it very easy any structure horizontal or vertical beside of that for example if i want to make it uh, horizontal this one my mark, marker is toward the aorta so i do towing i do towing this part become the heel of the probe make more distance of the septum so septum orientation become more transverse in that case what happened with towing if if i do towing my sector move this way, uh, direction become to the left ventricle and we can i can see more lv less aorta opposite way if i do healing it's pointing sector toward the aorta so i see more aorta and less uh, left ventricle you got it now uh, here I have another question if you want to see more aorta what should you do look at this image here is the classic 
complex orientation of the probe. As you see this curving aorta, we just get the proximal a little about the tubular junction of the aorta, a little. Here we have uh, sinus valsalva, we have sinotubular junction, so a little of the ascending. That the way it makes sense because our sector passed through this part. If I want to see more ascending aorta, what should I do? I have two options. Just slide the probe and twist it clockwise. Yes, make it the sector pass through this way. In that case, I don't have too much left ventricle, just a little right atrium and right ventricle, but I have long of ascending aorta. That is the maneuver when you do measuring more uh, distal ascending aorta. You have to do this maneuver. Just imagine you are going to sector this, you are going to cut here. So you have to do those maneuver. Keep in your mind and practice, it will help you a lot. And at the last, I am sure most of you are generous. Please share it.